Hey foodies, Dale here from Press to Cook, and today we're diving into the cool world of Blomberg fridges. Yep, you heard that right, we're going to walk you through the ultimate how-to guide for resetting your Blomberg fridge. But before we get into the nitty gritty, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you never miss out on any of our deliciously informative content. All right, let's get into it. So your Blomberg fridge is acting up and you're wondering how to reset it. No worries, I've got you covered. Resetting your fridge can solve a bunch of issues like temperature fluctuations, error codes, or even strange noises. First things first, let's locate the power button. Depending on your model, it might be on the front panel inside the fridge or even hidden in the back. Take a quick look around and find it. Once you've found the power button, you'll want to press and hold it for about 10 seconds. This will usually reset the internal electronics and get things back to normal. If your fridge doesn't have a dedicated power button, you can always unplug it from the wall. Leave it unplugged for about five minutes to let it fully reset, then plug it back in. Easy peasy, right? Now let's talk about those pesky error codes you might be seeing. Blomberg fridges have a range of error codes that can pop up, each indicating a different issue. Common ones include E1 for a temperature sensor error, E2 for a defrost sensor error, and E3 for a door sensor error. Don't worry, these can usually be fixed with a simple reset. If the error code persists even after a reset, you might need to consult your user manual or contact Blomberg customer support for further assistance. Sometimes your fridge might just need a good old defrost. Over time, ice can build up in the freezer compartment, causing temperature issues and making your fridge work harder than it needs to. To defrost your fridge, you can either use the built-in defrost function if your model has one, or do it manually. To manually defrost, unplug the fridge and leave the doors open to let the ice melt. Make sure to place towels around to catch any water. Once the ice is melted, plug it back in and you're good to go. Alright, let's move on to checking the temperature settings. Sometimes a simple adjustment can make all the difference. Blomberg fridges usually have a digital display where you can set the desired temperature. Make sure your fridge is set to around 37 degree F, 3 degree C, and your freezer to around 0 degree F, 18 degree C. If the temperatures are off, adjust them accordingly and see if that resolves the issue. Another pro tip, make sure your fridge is properly leveled. An unlevel fridge can cause cooling issues and even make weird noises. Use a spirit level to check the fridge's alignment and adjust the feet if necessary. Most fridges have adjustable feet that you can screw in or out to get the perfect balance. And there you have it folks, a complete guide to resetting your Blomberg fridge and tackling common issues. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Press to Cook for more awesome content. Also, drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover next. Until next time, keep it cool and happy cooking.